Uh, green hydrogen economy, uh, burning hydrogen emits only water vapor, very, environment, very environmentally friendly. Hydrogen can made, be made by electrolysis of water using wind and solar, green hydrogen. And so we have all these projects going on around the world. Today, uh, hydrogen doesn't exist in nature, but it's not very expensive. It's about a dollar per kilogram when it's produced from natural gas, or in, in uh, China, they produce it from coal. 99% of the hydrogen produced today comes from hydrocarbons, so this is a look at the uh, new German hydrogen train. It's going to be running uh, hydrogen that was produced by natural gas. There, there isn't any green hydrogen around to speak of. And green hydrogen today uh, costs about five times as much. And there are major distributions with hydrogen. You really can't put much of it through current pipelines. So, uh, you know, if you're not right next to an electrolysis plant, it's going to be tough to get. So last question for the day, another tough one. So how much electricity do you think is needed to produce green hydrogen to decarbonize the world's steel industry? And we want to take a shot at that. It does take a little bit of calculation. Hydrogen Europe has said that for a single 4 million DRA, DRI plant, which is about a typical size in Europe, you need 1.2 to 1.3 gigawatts of elect electrolyzers, and you need to drive that since solar is, if you do it with solar, you need to drive that with up to 5 gigawatts of solar. It would cost 7 billion euros of capital investment. So we now have some numbers here. So 5 gigawatts of solar, let's take a look at what that would mean. So I put up the uh, Ivanpah system again. Uh, really an engineering marvel. I got these three towers, shine light on it with, with uh, thousands of mirrors. Uh, but this thing only puts out about uh, 370, I think it is. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, right. The nameplate is 370 megawatts. It covers five and a half square miles. You would need 13 of these to power one four million ton steel plant, 13, and it would cover an area of 70 square miles. So we can scale this up for the world now. You need about 5,000 terawatt hours of electricity, one and a half times total non-hydro renewable electricity today to, to convert your industry to DRI, run, run on uh, 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 hydrogen produced by renewables. One and a half times total renewable electricity today. And by the way, the chemical industry is even bigger because the chemical industry uses hydrogen as a feedstock. So the, again, these are not my figures. The International Energy Agency has said that you, you would need 12,000 terawatt hours to 17,000 terawatt hours to provide hydrogen for the chemical industry. That is three to five and a half times or something the total world renewables today.